Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm bringing to you a video that's going to show you how to run Nintendo 64 games on your device. And it runs very great, very smoothly. It works on pretty much all iPhones, iPod Touches, and iPads, and it runs on any firmware. So you don't need to worry about the firmware, or if you have an older device, it's still going to run pretty good. Now, of course, you will need Wi-Fi, you will need to be jailbroken, and we are going to be SSHing the ROMs into our device, so you will need to know how to SSH, and I'll put a video annotation right here on how to do that if you don't know. Uh, without further ado, just open up Cydia, and of course, wait for it to reload. Now, we're going to be searching for an application called N64. Whoops. There we go. And it's going to look like this, but the one you're going to want to install is N64 iPhone free, not the paid one. Um, there is an ad in there, but you barely ever see it, so it really doesn't matter. It's the same thing. And install and confirm, and go back to your springboard, and this is what you will see. A little Nintendo 64 bordered by a green circle, or green borders, but whatever. Um, you should see that, so that's all for now on your device. Next, go ahead and open up. WinSCP or whatever you're using and connect to your device. Of course make sure it's on and connected to Wi-Fi. But Alright, once you're in, we're gonna backspace once on your keyboard. And you'll get this menu. Just scroll down to mobile media and go into the folder called ROMs. Now, once you're here, you'll just open up Nintendo 64, N64, and put that aside, and go to coolrom.com. I'll have a link in the description. And from here, you can just go to the ROM files, and go to Nintendo 64, and find any game you want. Now, it is kind of disappointing to tell you that not all games work. So if you download a game, majority of them work, but if you download one and it crashes, um, it runs pretty bad. Um, this doesn't happen with all of them, but if it does, uh, please don't blame me. It's really not my fault. The emulator might be updated in the future, but I found that it works great with most games, and I downloaded uh, a game already on my desktop, so I'm going to be dragging that in right now. So just drag it into that folder and press copy and I already have it but I'm not going to copy it but once you've got that in there you can just close your session and on your device you don't even have to restart it but if the game isn't showing up of course restart it and it should but there you go if you run it whoops. There you go. You're running Nintendo 64 games on your device. And they actually run not very bad. It's pretty playable. Oops. I'm having a little trouble here, but thanks all you guys for watching. That was a really I really hope you liked it. It's really really fast to do that. And please comment, rate this video and subscribe to my channel.